Hi everyone, welcome to the So Essential vlog. I'm Lucy and I'm here today to talk you through the new Vogue pattern release. So these are the Vogue patterns for the new season. As always, I'll also make suggestions of fabrics you could pair them with as well. You'll find everything I talk about today on our website and the link to our website's below. And you'll also find links to all the individual products I talk about today below as well. And I will also put a link to where you can find the full range of the new season Vogue patterns all in one place on our website as well so you can see everything there. For the first time as well, we're gonna include a little um, slideshow at the end of the video after I finish talking. We'll do a quick run through of all the different designs in the new Vogue release for you. Um, I'll talk through my few favorites that I've picked out and then we'll showcase the full range to you so you can get a quick look at that as well. And that's just something new we're trying, so let us know your thoughts on that. But let's get started now with these gorgeous, gorgeous patterns and fabrics. I can't wait to talk to you about them. So the first one that I want to talk to you about, I am very much in love with. I really hope I get to make it. I say this all the time. I'd need about 500 wardrobes if I made everything, but um, I really would love to make this. It's Vogue 1684. It's a beautiful skirt pattern. It's a high-waisted with a fairly wide waistband and then it's sort of almost like a pencil skirt silhouette. It comes down to below the knee, so sort of a midi length with a handkerchief um, hem, I would call it, coming to a point at the front. And then it's got this beautiful sort of ruffle that comes up onto one side and um, it looks like pleats that go across the front there. So real wow factor. Um, the way they've styled it on the packet is just beautiful. Um, it's suitable for fabrics with, um, it needs to have a bit of weight to it I think to create that voluminous sort of ruffle effect on the side um, but it suggests things like satins and crepes and that sort of thing with a bit of body. Um, so it comes in sizes, all the patterns I'm going to talk to you about today come in sizes 6 to 22 which start at a 30 and a half inch bust and go up to a 44 inch bust. A 23 inch waist up to a 37 inch waist and a 32 and a half inch hip up to a 46 inch hip. There's one pattern towards the end that goes a little bit bigger and a little bit smaller but I'll mention that to you when I hit that pattern but everything else I talk about today is going to be in that size range I just quoted. Um, but yeah as I was saying I think the styling on the packet for this is beautiful. We've got one of the models with a plain white version of the skirt and a spaghetti strap black top um, and then the other model's got a lovely floral version of the skirt on um, and like a sort of um, plain black tank top and I just think they both look absolutely fantastic um, really sort of sophisticated modern um, glamorous just oh if you've got a special occasion it's all the things you want to look and the fabric I thought that could work really well for the skirt is this gorgeous Santa Cruz fabric that we've got which is a John Caldor fabric it's a satin with a slight bit of um, stretch in it I think it's got a little bit of oh no maybe it hasn't actually um, th there's maybe a little bit of giving it it's not a stretch fabric by a you know it's not a stretch fabric there's a little bit of giving it so that's nice from a comfort point of view I think it's got the sort of weight to hold that ruffle down the side and um, I mean the prints and the colours just talk for themselves don't they let's face it I just think that would be a real wow factor skirt and then you could pick out um, this sort of inky blue colour or perhaps the grey for um, a sleeveless top as the model on the packet is wearing and then some nice strappy shoes and I think you would feel a million dollars in that. Um, so that's the first one. The next one I want to talk to you about is Vogue 1675. So this is a really nice, I think Vogue are great at doing these simple classics with a twist and this is definitely one of those. So it's a shift dress, um, there's a sleeveless option and an option with full length sleeves and it's got a thick sort of cummerbund or waistband around the middle and then the top sort of gathers um, into a point on the waistband and then 
there's a, a sort of sash that comes out from underneath the waistband that's gathered at the same point and then hangs down below the hemline. Um, so just a really lovely twist on an absolute classic. Again, this is suggesting things like crepes. You need something, I think, with a little bit of weight and a little bit of body to it um, to create this design. And to be honest, I thought the model on the packet just looked fabulous in the red. Um, and I thought I would recreate that look if I was making this dress. Um, and you could recreate it beautifully with this prestige crepe, which is a John Caldor in this lovely bright red colour. I made, um, there's a dress that's always on the dress form in the background. I made that, it was one of my first ever dressmaking projects really um, in this fabric. And it's just absolutely beautiful. It really is perfect for those special occasions and for that wow factor. So that is my second choice. The next pattern I wanted to share with you, definitely, um, obviously those two were very much special occasion, very dressy. This pattern is a blouse, Vogue 1681. Um, so I think you can choose to make this a dressy version of the blouse or you've got options to make it more every day. Um, there's two different views. One of them um, has got almost like a bit of a skirt at the back of it. Um, I don't know what the proper wording for that is. I'm afraid I haven't... I haven't um, got that but it's I mean almost it's not a go day but it's it's almost like a skirt on the back it looks like it's got some panelling um, at the sides as well um, it's got like nice deep cuffs and a round neck um, but it looks like it's a really nice cut and you could get a good fit with it and make it in some more everyday fabrics um, for a, casual, a smart casual blouse and then there's view B which has got um, a neckline that comes into a V and also lovely sleeves that sort of balloon out slightly and then come into a cuff which I always really like that look I think it just adds a little bit um, extra to a blouse when you've got a nice sleeve like that and it's you know there's it's a bit of a feature but it's understated enough and it's practical enough that it's easy to wear which is nice and then it's got like a shirt hem at the side where um the blouse splits at the side um to create that shirt hem um and i just thought that's a really really lovely classic very flattering very easy to wear you know not too fitted um would hang in all the right places and I thought again that the um, fuchsia pink looked beautiful on the packet so the fabric I would suggest to make a nice dressy version of this blouse would be this gorgeous satin um, liquid satin fabric that we've got which is a satin back crepe with lots of drape and movement there's a super shiny satin side and then there's this lovely matte side with a slight sheen to it as well um, I've worked with this fabric as well before the black I made um, a bodice to go under a tulle dress and it was just absolutely gorgeous to work with it just looks so lovely made up as well um, and I think that's a really nice option for you know if you're not a dress wearer or you're going somewhere that you want to feel a bit dressed up a bit smart a bit like you've made an effort um, but you don't want to feel too over the top I think a blouse and a nice smart pair of trousers is a nice way to do that um, without feeling too overdressed perhaps wearing some nice dramatic earrings with it I think that would create a really lovely look the next pattern I wanted to talk to you about is Vogue 1674 so this is really what I would call a bodycon dress um, it's meant to be made out of stretch fabrics so ponties and jerseys and it's got to have at least 50% stretch so you need quite a stretchy jersey for this one because obviously it is very fitted. Um, there's various different options. Um, I really like the, um, there's a version where there's a full sleeve on one arm and then the neckline cuts across and comes across the shoulder there and then there's a sleeve um, that continues down and then the rest of the dress is very fitted. It has got a waist um, seam so it is in two pieces a bodice and a skirt the skirt is um, a pencil sort of shape and then there's other options as well for um, like a cross and off almost off the shoulder like a bardo type style where it crosses over at the front um, which is super sexy as well all very very gorgeous um, I think you'd feel really really special in this again and the fabric I thought that would be really nice they've got a mixture of patterned and plain fabrics on the 
pattern cover but I thought actually this fabric um, could work really well for this dress it's a really pretty jersey fabric that we've got in gorgeous colours ideal for the spring and summer it's got enough stretch um, and I think you could make any of the versions of that dress in this fabric really um, and certainly wow the crowds look like completely different you're not going to find anybody else who's got um, the same dress on as you you know and probably not anyone with this pattern either I think it's quite unique and lovely and personally I just really love those colours so I thought that was a nice match for that one just lost my um paper but yes so that's um that was that one and then there's vogue 1680 which is another this is a really dressy blouse because firstly it's got an incredibly plunging neckline which i do think a lot of vogue patterns seem to have i'm not sure how many of us actually go with that plunging neckline and how many of us alter it um but it wouldn't be very difficult to alter you could just bring it up a bit at the front um if you're not comfortable with um wearing such a low cut but it is a really beautiful blouse so it comes into a low v at the front it's got balloon type sleeves that come into a deep cuff um, again love that look and then at the front it twists over um, so it sort of twists over and goes round and it looks like there's a bit of a wrap going on as well at the front um, so like a really unusual design I think this would be fun to make and interesting to make because of the twist on the front it'd probably be quite a different technique um, to try and again you can make this one in different fabrics you know you could make it probably in some sort of uh, rayon or viscose fabric and go for a more casual um, look or you could go again for the liquid satin which I just showed you for the other blouse we do that in a range of colours as well if the pink's not your thing we got lots of other colours in it um, and I think that could make a really lovely blouse again for those special occasions where you don't want to wear a dress or you don't want to wear a skirt but you do want to feel nice and dressy I think that would tick the boxes beautifully the next pattern I wanted to talk to you about is Vogue 1685. So these are some wide leg collot type trousers. Um, it looks like they've got a box pleat at the front. Um, they've got creases pressed down the front of them. That might even be a seam, but we'll put the line drawings up for you so you can see that. Um, this year, again, cropped trousers, collots, wide leg trousers. I saw them everywhere when I was doing my research for our spring trend report. So they're very much here to stay. And again, I think, you know, paired with some strappy shoes, I think the styling is really good on the front of the packet of this one as well. Um, paired with some strappy shoes, you can wear a very simple top like the models are on the packet but if you choose a nice bright colour um, or a luxurious fabric you know you can still feel really dressy with some heels on but also quite comfortable and quite easy to this you know they're quite easy to wear so the fabric I chose for this design was again our prestige crepe and I just went for the classic navy this time for these I thought that could work quite well I'm not sure how well the colour will show up on here but it's a it's a lovely navy colour um, I've talked to you about the prestige crepe fabric already it's a John Caldor it's got a nice amount of body it's a nice weight um, but it, it would work well I'm sure for those trousers um, and um, I just thought the classic navy blue you could pair with um, like a cream or ivory or white top and it would just look lovely and classic um, fresh for the spring um, and again yeah you just think you'd feel sophisticated and dressy but you could also be quite comfortable I mean the, the models are wearing a knit sort of scoop neck top on there but because the trousers have got the wow factor you know you can tone it down on the top and, and feel quite comfortable there and then finally I wanted to show you oh no not finally two more sorry uh, Vogue 1671 which is a super cute dress um, it's got a fitted sleeveless bodice a v-neck um, and then it's got it's like a, a band or a panel that comes down the front down that centre front seam either side of it and then it's also got a band around the armhole as well there is a version the skirt's slightly a line um and there's a, that's the knee length version but there's also a midi length version as well 
um, and then it's got waist darts coming up to the bust to give you a nice shape in the bodice and a waist seam so it's a bodice and a skirt that you sew together so you know you've got the options there to give you a nice fit um, and I love again what they've done on the pattern packet they've done colour blocking on the knee length version then they've gone for a really bold bright colour on the midi length version and again for this one our prestige crepe would work really really well it's always a good match for the Vogue patterns the prestige crepe is because generally they are that sort of glamorous evening wear um, more special occasion type patterns so um, that is the ideal fabric for a lot of them you know a lot of them require something with a bit of structure with a bit of weight um, but it's beautiful quality as well so you know it's worthy of the work and the effort that you'll put into a Vogue pattern so in terms of the colour blocking version I thought you could use the navy prestige which I just showed you and then we've also got an ivory in the prestige so you could really recreate the look on the front of the pattern with that um, or you could go for one of the bolder colours there is a full range of colours on the website so if you fancy doing something a bit bolder or you've even got pastel shades you know you could go for the all one colour version um, that they show you on the packet as well and then the last pattern I wanted to talk to you about is very much a um, casual sort of more everyday type pattern so I thought I'd throw this one in as well and it does go down it starts at a four to six so a size four is a 29 and a half inch bust a 22 inch waist and a 31 and a half inch hip and then it goes up to a 24 to a 26 so a bit bigger than the other patterns I've talked to you about today um, and that is a 48 bust 41 and a half inch waist and a 50 inch hip what I will say is always check the sizes on the patterns when you're ordering them always check that you're ordering the right size of course but um, yeah all the ones I talked to you prior to this were size 6 to 22 and I ran through the sizes for those at the start of the video and then this one just goes a little bit smaller and a little bit bigger um, but it's just a nice sort of simple um, jacket it's got like um, it's almost like a granddad shirt what I would call a granddad shirt style so it's just got a simple round neck um, it's buttoned down the front it's got some quirky little pocket details on the side which I thought were quite cute um, it looks like it's a nice cut and it looks nicely fitted um, and then it comes to just below the elbow and it can be made up in like shirting fabrics lightweight denims linens things like that so I just thought it's a really nice um, idea for spring really um, something you could make it up in we've got some nice coast fabric which is like a linen look fabric it's not linen but it's a linen look fabric um, or you could just make it up in a nice chambray so we've got um, some of this chambray we've got loads of it downstairs but this is always very very popular it's nice and soft um, easy to wear it goes with most things in most people's wardrobes it's a you know a denim blue color um, and I just thought it was a nice alternative style of jacket it's quite different really um, and it looked really good the way it hung on the models just a nice sort of casual look so I hope you've enjoyed that today. I certainly have. I'm very excited about all of those. As I mentioned at the start of the video, everything I talked about today, you can find it below. I've put all the links to the products I've talked about today below. If you like what you see today, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see the full range of Vogue patterns, stay tuned now and we'll quickly run through those for you.